cadets. We're ready for our discovery time again tonight. And for our science experiment tonight, we're gonna use some string, a spoon, some paper clips, and two cups that have a hole in. Now you should have had this stuff in your kit that um, your mom or dad picked up for you. So you can get your supplies out and just like last time, when we're working on something, if you need more time, go ahead and pause that video, catch up, and then restart it again, and we can do it together the whole way through. Zach is helping me again tonight. He's recovered from his laying over the chair trying to drink. So, Zach, I want you to take this string, and I want you to rub your fingers along it and tell me what you hear. Anything? Really? No. No, nothing. All right. So, just plain string, you rub your finger, you don't really hear much of anything. So, we're going to put the string through the bottom of our cup, through the hole. If you need help, you can ask your mom and dad to help you with this. Your cup should already have a hole in it. And then you can reach your finger in and grab it. Your fingers are smaller than mine, so it should be easier. And then you're gonna tie it to a paper clip. And what that paper clip is gonna do is just make sure that your string doesn't go back out that hole in your cup. So tie a knot on that paper, not yet. You're jumping ahead, Zach. Tie a knot on that string and then pull the string tight so that the paper clip inside is flat against the bottom of the cup. Now, Zach, I want you to rub your finger along that string again and tell me what you hear. Is it louder than it was last time? It is, yeah. yes? Okay, yeah. so first time quiet, this time a little bit louder, now, we are going to, we're gonna tap a spoon on the table. We're gonna to listen to what sound that makes. You guys can all hear that. We all know what sound that makes. That sounds like it's time for dinner, right? So we're going to finish our cup here, and then we're gonna use that spoon for an experiment. So we're gonna put that string down this hole all the way down. And once it's sticking through, you can reach in and grab it. You're going to tie it onto the other paper clip. Make sure you put a knot in so it stays. Have you ever done this before, Zach? I did once. Once? At school? Whenever I was in Cub Scouts. Ah, Cub Scouts. That's a good place for this kind of thing. All right. So. Make sure that paper clip, and it's not laying flat for us, make sure that paper clip's laying flat. There we go. All right, so we're gonna pull them flat, flat, so that they're both flat against the cup. Now, we're gonna tie the spoon right in the center of that string. We probably should have done that before we put the cup on, but oh well, it worked. There we go. Okay. Let's double it up there. Let's make sure it's not too much. There we go. All right, so we're going to tie this spoon on here, and we're going to let the spoon hang down. Now, you want to do this? You want me to do it? You can do it. All right. So, we're going to hold it the cups up to our ears, making sure that those paper clips are flat, okay? So you gotta stand up, put the cups on your ears, and then go down and tap the spoon. And it sounds completely different than it did when I was just tapping the spoon on there. You wanna try it? It's really cool. Sure. It actually sounds like chimes on an organ. It's really cool.
Isn't that neat? Yeah. I know. All right, so now we're gonna take our spoon off. We're gonna do one more thing with our cups. Now, back in the olden days when, when Miss Kelly was a child, we used to do this for fun. We called it telephone. So what we're gonna do is, do you wanna whisper or do you wanna listen? I'll listen. Okay, put the cup up to your ear. So have a, either your brother or sister, your mom or dad, Somebody's gonna talk and somebody is gonna listen, okay? Now, you're not gonna talk loud. You wanna whisper into this cup and we'll see if Zach can hear it in that cup and he can tell me what I said. Don't look at me. Did you hear me? No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, that did work. Let's try it again. Ready? Mm -hmm. You still didn't hear me? No. All right, you talk, let me try. Ready? You said whisper, whisper, whisper. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, so you just have bad ears. <laughs> so, if I would have just quietly whispered that over here, Zach probably would not have heard that. So I'm gonna explain to you why this string and these cups make it easier for us to hear things that we probably couldn't hear normally. So boys and girls, the reason why those sounds were different with the string and the cups and why you're going to hear a difference when you do this at home is that sound travels by making molecules vibrate. Molecules are tiny little particles that we can't even see, but they're in the air and they help us to hear sound. Sound waves travel not only through the air, but they also travel through solid things like this string or this spoon or this cup. Because the molecules are closer together on the string than in the air, the sound is louder. So the cups and the string and the spoon make the sound louder. It increases the sound's volume. Now, normally, sound waves scatter in all directions, so they're just kind of going everywhere out in the air. But when you put this cup next to your ear, it makes the sound waves in a, go in a single direction right towards your ear, and it makes the sound louder. That's why I could hear Zach whispering into that cup, whereas if he was whispering without that cup, the sound waves would have just scattered and I wouldn't have been able to hear him. But by putting the cup up there, it made the sound waves go in a single line right to my ear. So in today's Bible story, we learned about Elijah and about a conversation that he had with God. He heard lots of different sounds. He heard the wind, he heard fire, he heard an earthquake, but because he was listening, Elijah also heard the still, small voice of God. God had all these loud things, but when he was ready to talk to Elijah, he did it in a quiet voice. And because Elijah was listening, he heard him. Just like the paper cups and the string make the sound of the spoon and the whisper louder, God's message to us will be more clear if we read the Bible and pray and praise God. All those things Take all those different particles and they make them one straight line and straight to us. So God's word and God's message will get to us better if we do Bible reading and prayer. All those things help God be more a part of our lives. So let's say today's praise phrase and that is, Our God is incredible. Praise God. Thanks boys and girls. I'll see you next time.